How's it going, everybody? My name is John Hammond. Still checking out the last of CTF challenges. Uh, this one that I was looking at right now was uh, Lost Extensions. And uh, I have already solved this, but I want to demonstrate how I solved it and put together a script that will do it all for us. So the prompt is this file got saddened through its extension. Maybe you can figure out what it's supposed to be. So let's go ahead and download this. Extensions looks like a, a file. Um, and I'll just put it in the normal file, the folder and everything that I put. Uh, everything in for a CTF and the last of CTF challenges. Okay, so I just created a folder for it. Good open a terminal. I've already cleared everything out of uh, what I had in there before, so I can demonstrate this for you. Uh, I can cat out extensions, and it looks like it's a bunch of junk. I'll actually look at what it is with the file command, and it looks like it's a zip archive. So, okay, let's go ahead and copy that to uh, something with an actual zip extension on it. Good. Now I can unzip that extension zip folder, and it looks like, okay, we get this file I'm lost. So what is that? We can run file I'm lost and it's like okay. it's just ASCII text. Okay. So hopefully that's our flag, right? I can just go ahead and cat out I'm lost. Whoa. This looks like a uh, a bunch of numbers. I don't know what this is. I'm just scrolling through it with the page shift up right uh, shift and page up at the same time in the terminal. But I still don't actually know what any of this stuff is. Like VN V I see F preceding some of these. Um, I tried to Google around. I looked at the hint, and it told me that, hey, there sure are a lot of, a lot of numbers there. Yeah, that, that helps. It's not like I can Google file with numbers. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't help that way. Yeah, file with numbers does not give me anything. <laughs> so I started to look at a little bit more of the preceding lines, like files that start with V, um, file VN. I, th I know I saw a VN earlier. So I saw file VN. I tried to Google that. And this uh, wavefront object file looked promising. So look at that in Wikipedia. Try to look at it a little bit, a little bit more. And whoa, a lot of the things that was displaying were pretty similar to what I was seeing in this file here. So I looked at that, figured it was a wavefront object file. So I went ahead and took a copy of that to I'm lost to uh, thing dot obj right. But this doesn't help. I still need to be able to actually view this 3D graphic object. I've seen this before, like OpenGL stuff, when I used to play with it. I know it's a 3D model, but now I just need to be able to open 3D models in Linux. So I just Googled, like, view 3D models Linux, and I actually... actually I think I Googled, like, Ubuntu. And then I found this super cool tool, uh, 3D file viewer or something. Regardless, I ended up using the function. I, I can't really find it online, but. I ended up using 3D Viewer. So, 3D Viewer, or G3D Viewer, right? I think that's what it is. Yeah, so I had installed that earlier. Again, I removed it to demonstrate this for you. G3D Viewer. I went ahead and installed it. And then I just ran the G3D viewer on that object file, and I got my flag. So, easy, right? It just took a little bit of figuring stuff out. So then I'll actually create a script that will do this all for us. Um, in that lost extensions, let's just look at uh, get flag.sh. I'll add my shebang line up top, use bin sh. So now that we have our flag, we initially, what did we do? We copied extensions to extensions.zip. We ran unzip on extensions.zip. And then we uh, ran, what did we run? I'm trying to think back now. Oh, great. We moved the I'm lost file. What was the name of that file? Because I know it's going to inflate that again. Oh, we can just copy this. Copy, I'm lost to thing.object. And then we ran 3D viewer on thing.object. Cool. So now let's make that executable. Try and run it. 
and then it does everything we need to. Uh, we had a little have a little action interaction there with the unzip file. I wonder if there's a way to force that because it already existed. Force. There's a dash B. If I can like pipe yes into it. Okay, yeah, I can hit yes. Just like that, and we should be good. That displays our flag for us just like that. Our get flag script works well. Cool. We're good. We just got the flag, and we'll go ahead and submit it. Actually, what was it? I'll run my, uh, I'll run my get flag script. Who needs extensions with O's and 3's being replaced? Let's enter that in. And then we get our 50 points. Sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Took a little bit of deductive reasoning, or at least a little bit of research, to figure out what this object file was, and then being able to display it in Ubuntu. Thanks. See you soon.